So welcome into another free recorded Euro Truck Sim video content. My name is Ian Collar, Jordi Gamer. Today we are taking our first proper look at the 1.50 beta, which has been out about a week and a bit. Uh, we have covered it in the live stream, but this is the first time we've actually done a video on it. And so we've jumped into the Renault Premium. Uh, we've customised it to the spec we want. And we're going to quick travel... Um, I think we're going to quick travel to so we'll quick travel to the Russian border to Narva. And we'll start from there. <clears throat> so if you're new to the channel, welcome in. Um, do hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and that notification bell. Um, we do generally go live quite frequently. I think the options have changed ever so slightly for some reason. Um, maybe not. Right, so let's head off and find a job to do. There is a company directly in front of us. We'll head into there. We won't need fuel for a while. We've got a... Oh, crap. We have a sizable fuel tank. So for those that don't know, when we do live stream Euro Truck Sim or American Truck Sim, we do set the convoy up. Um, the convoy is open to anyone who wants to participate um at the moment it is open to everyone we may change that in the future to members only um just as a reward for members for those who do take out memberships uh, but at the moment it is still open to anybody and we do have the voice chat option as well um via the discord server now if you want to take part in the voice chat. You do need to be 18 or above. And just bear in mind also that the voice chat is broadcast live onto the live stream. And we'll just do that short one over to Sweden. Um, so if you're not comfortable being heard on the live stream, then like, again, it is optional. Um, so don't feel pressured into joining it. Um, like I said, the voice chat is there is a, an additional tool for those that want to 
be important in the voice chat and like I say, have a chat on the live stream with, with each other. To get the job done. Again, it's not for everybody. So like I say, it's entirely up to yourself. And we do also have Transcend World installed, which we have in a few pre-recorded videos on Transcend. Um, if you do want to see more Transcend, let me know in the comments section below as well. We have quite enjoyed it. But yeah, certainly going forward for the time being, um, like I say, the convoys will still be open to anyone who wants to join, like I say. Going forward, that may very well change to members only. Um, obviously, just as a reward for members. And those who take out membership. But that is something we'll look at further down the line. So the job just saved 41 minutes, but of course that will include a, a, a hefty ferry journey, which will knock quite a bit of that off. Been a bit of an error with the um, with the horns. I think we forgot to take the default horn off. Get ready for the turn left. Turn left. Now a lot of people have been asking about the um, the overlay at the top of the screen in the center. That is just um, it's called yet another route advisor available on the Steam Workshop. Have a look in the Steam Workshop. Um, it's there. It's quite a small, easy, quick download. Um, so you get that little overlay in the center of the screen at the top. The thing I do like about it is the the bit round where the speed and the speed limit is. Um, it gets it glows when you go over the speed limit and the further. Over the limit you go, the brighter, bright, brighter it gets. Um, we'll try and demonstrate that in a few minutes. That's one of the things I like about the overlay at the top. Um, and of course, the green overlay at the side is the channels overlay. I 
well, I won't. We'll, uh, yeah, we will. Gosh, we get off it. We'll get past it. Just takes about an hour. There we go. So that bit glows red, and obviously the more the further over the, over the limit you go, the brighter it becomes. We will stick to the speed limit. We do have um, fatigue and traffic offences turned off. But we will stick to that speed limit. So the game has been in beta for about a week and a half, I think. Maybe it's a bit less. There we go, the speed limit has increased. Um, there is still no direct X12 support, um, but a lot of the new features have been enabled. Um, we've got a brand new user interface, which is much, in my opinion, much cleaner. Been much more updated than the original. I know there has been quite a bit of bad feedback for it, but personally, I think the new interface is far better. Much more modern. Um, there is some more, some additional features. The lane assist features are enabled. Um, you get the audi audible, audible beep when you change lane without, without indicating. Doesn't work on this one because we're not on a dual carriageway. And also, there's the full control where it actually prevents you from changing lanes unless you're indicating as well, which I think is in more the keyboard and mouse uh, or control pad users. Those speed limits do creep up on you, and that's one of the reasons we've turned traffic offences off not to be the speed, but just because you only have a couple of seconds to get your speed down, otherwise, it logs a traffic offence. Um, you get a speeding, a speeding ticket or a fine, so that's the only reason we have disabled it. We'll stick to the speed limits, we'll obey the we'll, we'll obey traffic signals. Just like that, you see, they just creep up on you. It just drops so quickly. And then before you know it, the speed goes up again. Limit goes up again. I'm sure we enable those. Yeah, so we've got it set to departure warning. So you normally get uh, automatic and truck, you get the audible, audible beep. For some reason, we're not. Well, 
what would happen if when you change layers like that it would stop beeping at you? Unless you have the indicators on. But for some reason that doesn't appear to be working in Euro truck, or certainly not on this particular truck. But it's enabled and it does work on American truck. Uh, we have just recorded an American truck video and it does work on on ATS, so But we are in beta, so there is going to be issues. Well, that may very well have been... Right back. Yeah, there's definitely no aud audible beep. They say an American truck, have you had your turn? If you indicate, it's fine. You don't get the beeping, but if you just do it without indicating, you get that beeping noise to see your drifting lanes. Both the overlay along the bottom is off the truck here. And again, another free app. So yeah, we're in the Renault Premium for this run. fire again one of the things i really do like about the game is the um the in-game accidents the cars on fire trucks on fire crashes roadworks gives you a really a, a really immersive feeling oh shit that's a roundabout Put us on. Never mind. Yeah, those roadworks, things like that, where the police are at the roadside. Um, and they're not just static either. They, when you pass roadworks and stuff, the workmen are working. Likewise, with accidents, the police are in the emergency services that are moving around. So it does give you that really immersive feel, rather than just a, a, a stationary group of people standing still.
I wish we would get something like that into Omsi 2. Obviously, but never going to happen because Omsi 2 is an old game now. Um, and obviously, it will never be updated or developed because for various reasons. I just think how, with a game engine like this, how good Omsi could be. In, um, <laughs> well, well over the speed limit, let's get that right back down. If the shame SCS couldn't purchase the rights to Omsi 2, I don't think if anyone could. I think it would. If the SCS could make Omsi 2. This kind of level. Well, I say that's just one of those things that's never going to happen. I believe Aerosoft owned the rights to distribute the game. I just, but no one can update or develop the game. I believe. Obviously, there's mods come out. There's maps, buses frequently still. But in terms of the game itself, I don't think anyone is allowed to touch the game. I know there has been talk of buses coming to Euro Truck. Now we're going straight. Oh crap! Uh, but I don't think it's going to be anywhere near what that what Omg Two is. In all honesty. The impression I'm under is it's just going to be coach routes. I don't think it's going to be physical bus routes. I think it'll be long. You know, at one point, they're dropping off at another at a destination. But I don't think it's going to be bus routes in the, in, in the sense of long years. And again, I could be wrong. Only time will tell. There's only one option. Finding a new route. <laughs> yeah, that has pretty much wiped out the majority of that of the time. We are literally at the desk at our desk. Oh, hang on.
here somewhere. It is indeed. There it is. There we go. So that concludes the episode. Until next time, thank you very much. Good night. God bless.